How's it going guys? Post fight thoughts here on the fight that just took place between Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois. Did a pre-fight video on this fight. I um, thought it was pretty much a 50-50 fight, but we did say that we were leaning towards big Joe Joyce just based off of experience and competition. He'd been in there with the better competition and he had the better amateur pedigree. Um, that proved to be the right prediction um this fight was a great example of how important the jab is in boxing and how far a good jab can take you uh, made joe joyce made great use of the jab throughout the fight um he bat he batted uh dubois with the jab closed up his eyes busted him up um it was a good performance from joe joyce dubois he seemed to just be looking for, you know, one shot to end the fight, loading up on everything. He didn't really use the jab too much in the fight and didn't really know how to set up any of his power shots. When he threw them, they did land most of the time just due to the fact that Joe Joyce is not defensively blessed. He's very upright and easy to hit, but Joe Joyce's chin proved to be extremely durable and hence why he's called big juggernaut you know he has a very good chin and very good stamina and he just keeps coming he stuck to the jab he stuck to the game plan closed up to bar's eye and got the stoppage pretty impressive from joe joyce um he i also liked the way that he showed in the fight he was the bigger more experienced better fighter whenever they would tie up he was the one walking to bar back to the ropes um, big manning him in the clinch, sunning him in the clinch. Um, it just looked like Dubois wasn't ready. He didn't quite know what to do. And I um, think he did need a step-up fight, you know, against somebody like a Brian Jennings. Uh, because the moment Joe Joyce was able to take Dubois' power, he kind of looked... He looked a little bit uh, confused in there. He didn't really know what to do then because... You know, he was getting outboxed and Joe Joyce could take his power. So I think he needs to just go back to the drawing board, learn how to box a little bit more instead of just relying on his power to try and take people out. Um, but yeah, good performance from Joe Joyce. I think he was about a 2-1, to one, some places maybe even a 3-1 to one underdog. I did have a little bit of money on him. It's a decent little payout. Yeah. Yeah, good good example of how important the jab is in boxing because Joe Joyce, he really hasn't got a great variety of punches. Um, because I mean Dubois was there for the jab and the right hand all night, but due to Joe Joyce being so slow and clumsy, he he can't really get his right hand off too much throughout the fight. The jab was there for him all night, but he wasn't really able to land the right hand with that much regularity or I think the fight would have been over a lot sooner he has a very ugly awkward wide kind of right hand I think he needs to work a little bit on the technique straighten it up a bit more when he did throw it straight throughout the fight it would land more often but yeah good performance from Joe Joyce um, I think he's now maybe the number two in the WBO rankings behind Alexander Usyk so we'll wait to see if Joshua either defends, if Joshua gets past Pulev, that is, if he will defend against Usyk, or if he'll vacate and then Joyce and Usyk will fight for the WBO title. But yeah, I think Frank Warren got this fight wrong for Dubois. He just wasn't ready yet. So that's unfortunate for Dubois. I think he should have taken a little bit more time in hindsight. Although, before the fight, I also thought it was close to a 50-50 fight. Although, I was leaning to Joe Joyce. But yeah, guys, uh, that's my thoughts on the fight. Uh, let me know what you thought about the fight in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.